know, you general this one. You guys almost, uh, you know, made a little comeback there in the fourth quarter. Show great intensity in the fourth quarter, uh, but ultimately, you know, they were one play, uh, you know, one play better with that pick. What are your overall thoughts? Uh, well, obviously, they did a great job. Um, they did a great job on offense and, and we get out of the pocket and making plays when they had to. Um, I, I talked to the team beforehand and I talked to them at halftime and I think uh, we shot ourselves in the foot a lot with penalties and mistakes. Um, you look at it and uh, we didn't play our best brand of football. Uh, you know, first play of the game offensively, we cut something loose. You know, we had a touchdown call back because of another penalty. And, uh, you know, on the third and two, we play action. We them all covered and, and remind them to play action and we didn't do our job. Obviously, those are three turning points in the game that, that hurt us. Um, we talked about it, that you can't keep shooting yourself in the foot and expect to win every week. And today it caught up with us, but I thought they did a great job. Uh, you know, doing what they do on offense, controlling the clock, moving the ball, and keeping our offense off the field. Uh, Coach, this one for you again. Is it a case where, and I know you spoke a lot about this, and this has been a mantra with this team this year, but everyone bringing their best game against you and, and having that kind of target on your back. Is this a case again where a team really got up for this game and, and, and played you know, a really complete effort, uh, taking on a, you know, a, a, a defending champ and a ranked team? Um, yeah, I mean, it goes with the territory. When you're in first place, everybody's gunning for you. Um, and I think you know, anybody that comes here and plays us or wherever we go, that, you know, they're going to be gunning and knock us down because that's what you want to do is knock off you know, champs and people that are in first place. Um, we talk about it. You know, we got force, but our kids need to understand and be more mature about it. When they're you know, the hunted, they need to answer the bell. And that's when uh, adversity strikes and you want to see what your team is made of. And uh, we talked about stop playing two opponents. Stop playing, you know, against ourselves and the other team every week. And like I said, today it caught up with us. But yeah, people were gunning for you when you got the target on your back. The kids need to understand that, you know, they need to play their A game every week. Uh, this one for Cachadas, 173 yards net and average seven and a half today. It was uh, your best game on the ground uh, this season and uh, one of your better ones uh, of your career. What was working for you today? Uh, just everything. Uh, it helps that I'm healthy now. I had a little uh, ankle issue problem, but uh, we got that uh, fixed up, training room and all that stuff. But uh, just everything, all facets of the game. Uh, we had a game plan going in that we were going to run the ball. And, and just talking to the O-line and just getting that confidence back because uh, it has been a little shaky throughout the season. But, you know, that's something that we're going to continue to work on. And today it just really worked for us. You were obviously a center point of the game plan. How much does that get you up? for the game, and especially in front of a record crowd today, 4,600 here. Uh, it's a great feeling, man. This is something that uh, I dream about as a kid. This is something that I live for, and this is why uh, we love the game. Um, other than that, uh, just got to go out there and finish and make plays. And uh, Kevin, another uh, terrific day. You know, you're all over the ball. Um, your mentality in a game like that, where they are getting a lot done on offense, and you guys got to step up. You did make some plays there down the stretch that allowed the team to get back into it. What was working for you? I mean, everything. I mean, our games, we, our game plan was working and everything like that. It was just a couple of miscommunications on the back end that just let us slip away, a couple of bad calls. You've know? had a, a ton of tackles this year. What is it about the ball and that, that attack uh, that gets you up for a game like this? I mean, they're the number one rushing def rushing offense in the country, so you got to stop the run. I mean, it's not just me and everyone else is on the team court. It's been having a great season. Uh, coach, um, the support that the University of Chicago has on family weekend today. I know, you know, it's disappointing not to come away with a W, but when you're on the sideline and you see uh, that sea of red and white out there, what does that do for you and the team? Well, it, it, you know, it makes me feel good that I work here at Sacred Heart and uh, we have such a following. Um, it's great to see the support from everybody and the students, the fans, you know, the families and the faculty um, and other people that came to cheer us on. I mean, that's great momentum and we'd like to see that every weekend. Uh, but it is disappointing that we let a lot of people down and especially ourselves today. Shaw, as a captain on the team, how do you keep your head up and come back this week with a big week of practice, three weeks left in the season, things can happen. So how does this team respond and how do you help lead them? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's adversity. Coach No talks about it, how are we going to respond? Uh, we know that we're going to be the hunted, you know, number one team in the nation right now. I'm not number one team in the nation, number one team in the conference right now. Uh, just got to uh, overcome adversity. We're going to get back in the locker room and tell the guys, like, hey, we control our own fate. Coach No said it. Uh, a couple other coaches, a couple of players, we control our own fate. And we got to go out and take it one game at a time. Uh, Coach No preaches it every week. Uh, every week they do a practice. We got to take this game one game at a time and uh, just go out there and work. 
and having the experience of you know being in some big spots where the lights shining bright. How does that help you through an adversity like this, coming off a you know a game that maybe got away and having to respond to the bell next week? Uh, I think it's something that we thrive off of. Uh, a lot of kids here they want to play in front of the big lights and they want to go out there and play in front of a crowd, and it kind of sucks that you know we let the uh, Pioneer Nation down today with. Uh, how many other people are out there today, but uh, it's something that we look forward to. Uh, we talk about all the time, this game wouldn't be that, that fun if it wasn't for the, uh, for the fans, and we just got to go out and do a better job and execute on offense and defense. Kevin, on the defensive side, uh, I know this is just moments after the game, and there's going to be meetings and, and that, but uh, what do you think the message is to the defense coming out of this one that you wanna, you're going to hope to adjust for next week? I mean, move on to the next opponent. We can't keep doing our thing. We're playing great. Top defenses in the country, you just gotta keep doing everything. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you.